Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. Um, before I get started, um, just wanted to mention a few things. So, um, or show you a few things actually, something different. Um, a lot of people still don't know where the description is um, in the video. So when I say, hey, everything's listed in the description below, um, you know, people still don't know where that description is. So I thought I would show you really quick. So this is my old iPhone. Um, I still use it because it helps me with uploading my videos. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. So here is my um, YouTube channel on my phone. So when you click on a video, okay, so there's my video. I'm talking. Now, I'm just going to pause that so you don't have to hear that. So what you want to do is, do you see the title of the video right there? Just click on the title and then all of a sudden all of this information there's all the information everything you need to know is listed right there okay so that's how you find the information listed in the description below okay so again all you got to do is click on the title you see how it went up click on the title description expands Okay, so that's how you um, figure out the description. There's also um, a little gray triangle right there. That also works as well, but why would you do that when you can do this, okay? Um, in a lot of my videos, I also mentioned that in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, there is a KC logo, and if you click on that, that will get you to subscribe to my channel. When you're watching from a phone, unfortunately, it's not there. Um, it's only for desktops only, um, so you can only see that logo in the corner um, when you're watching from a, uh, um, a desktop. However, you see the red subscribe button right there? Subscribe. So if you guys are watching and you're not subscribed to my channel, um, please subscribe. Please, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And here, I'll show you something else really quickly. A lot of people are saying that they're not getting notified when I upload a new video. So I will show you guys. Let's go to Tammy Anderson, okay? Subscribe to Tammy Anderson. She's a real great friend of mine. I love her to death. So I am obviously subscribed to her channel. You see the little bell here? That is the notification bell, okay? You need to make sure that bell is clicked. So when I click it, it says all personalized and none. You see that? I have it clicked to all. So anytime Tammy posts a video or does anything on YouTube, I get notified. If you have personal, is that what it says? Yeah, personalized, you might not get notified all the time. So check your settings, check your little notification bell, and make sure you are set to all, okay? You might want to, if you are if you are set up like this already and you're still not getting notifications, try unsubscribing, resubscribing, and then doing the notification bell again, okay? So I hope that helps for everybody who's wondering where on earth the description box is. Um, and please subscribe. Guys, I am just shy of 92,000. Um, subscribers and my goal is to hit 100k so I'm almost there guys I'm just 8,000 or so shy of my 100k goal so um, if you could help me reach that goal I would tremendously appreciate it um, I would be super duper happy so please subscribe to my channel all right so I hope that was helpful for you guys I'm gonna get ready to pour for you guys and I'm just gonna show you guys a quick outside clip of three pieces three canvases that I have um, resined and I show you guys them outside in the sunlight. I will, I will do a video on how I resin my canvases. I know you guys have seen the videos on how I resin my wood pieces. I've had a lot of people asking me about how I resin my canvases. Um, I will do a video, just please be patient with me. Um, it's so hard to even get this video done while my daughter's upstairs taking care of a nine week old puppy. Um, so my time is very limited right now. Um, I've also stopped taking commissions on um, wood pieces. If you still want an unfinished wood piece for me to send you, I can definitely do that. Um, if you want a finished wood piece, um, you could still email me if you want, but it'll take a couple of months for me to get to it. It's not something that's going to happen right away. 
If you want a canvas commissioned piece, I'm taking orders for those. Um, why? Because I can literally do a video and do the piece at the same time and I'm killing two birds with one stone. You guys get to see a video, I get to complete a commission piece. So if you're interested in a canvas commission piece, feel free to email me, canalaseraco at gmail.com. All right, let's take you outside and then we'll bring you back down to start painting. Be right back. All right, so here we have a 12 by 36 inch commissioned piece. It has a beautiful coat of crystal resin on it. Look at that perfect shine. I'll go this way actually, get the sunlight catching it. There we go. Perfect, absolutely flawless finish. I really love crystal resin. Look at that shimmer from the primary elements as well. Beautiful. Very, very happy with this piece. All right, so that's piece number one. All right, and here we have piece number two. This is a 15 by 30 inch. And again, a beautiful coat of crystal resin. Look at that. Now this is the piece that I put a lot of, or too much primary elements in it, but I still think it turned out fantastic. It shifted a lot from the original pour, but the client loved it still, and she just loves it. So that is piece number two. And finally, piece number three, this is a 10 by 20. This was my black Dutch pour. Look at that. I'm so happy with all of these pieces and the shimmer and the shine and the flawless top coat of crystal resin. I could not be happier. Look how much it glitters. So there you have it. Three pieces. And I'll give you guys a quick little glimpse of my babies. My Juno baby. My handsome boy. And my new baby. Echo. My other handsome boy. If you guys want to see more of Juno and Echo, check out Juno's YouTube channel. You'll see the description, the info in the description below. Snooze time. All right, on to painting. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, the aqua green was the clear cut winner of um, the choice for the option for today's pour. Um, in the last video, I gave you guys three options, turquoise, cerulean blue, and aqua green. And let me tell you, aqua green won with flying colors. Um, I cannot believe how many people wanted to see aqua green. So here you are, aqua green. Uh, I have gone ahead and already done the one canvas. I have a 12 by 12 and a 12 by 12. All right, so I wanted to show you guys now. When using a background that's not white or black, you really, really need to paint your sides before you get started. I painted these last night. Um, now, the other thing is, um, this one here is opaque. It's an opaque color paint. So what that means is I did one coat all the way around and it covered the sides pretty well. Now, if you're gonna use a um, transparent, Let's say, for example, this magenta, it's transparent. May I suggest you do two coats on the side because you will see the canvas through the first um, layer. 
okay? I cannot stress enough how important it is to um, paint those sides because when you do a pour, you will see it. Believe me, you will see it. So take the little extra 10, 15 minutes and definitely um, paint your sides because you'll be pretty disappointed if, you know, you do a beautiful painting and your sides look like poop. Because I tell you guys, the sides are just as important as the top. I am such a perfectionist when it comes to that. And when I see sides that are messy and I just, I can't even, like, it has to be perfect. So in here I have the same concoction. So, sorry, I mixed my paints the same way I mix all my paints in my two bottles, everything. Even the base, it's all mixed the same way. It is Floetrol Paint and Water. You can find that information listed in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top for you. Okay, so I already have some mixed in here in my low leave Effie bottles. Um, best bottles around, I swear. I got rid of all my other Amazon cheaper bottles and I replaced everything with low leave Effie bottles. So check that out. Again, you can find that information in the description below. So um, this makes life so much easier when trying to do the sides. And then I just literally take my finger and dab it wherever there is bare canvas, just to make sure that the whole canvas is covered. Uh, I'm trying to save as much paint as I can by just dipping my finger into any runoff that is fallen down here. But as you can see, you just want to dip your finger along where there is any dry canvas and then you're ready to go. All right. So again, check out video number 63 for how I mix my paints. Now, um, when I use my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, that is a lot thinner than, well, not a lot, but it's thinner than these um, two paints here by Liquitex Basics and Artist Loft and all that. So let's say, for example, I mix my paints um, 80 grams. Well, I do. I mix my paints um, 80 grams Floetrol, 40 grams paint, 30 grams water. With this, I did 80 grams Floetrol instead of 40 grams paint. I did 35 because it is thicker. And then I did 30 grams water. So just a, a touch little bit less um, of paint. All right. All right. I'm going to clean off my awesome spatula. As you guys can see, this thing just distributes paint so evenly and effortlessly. I love this thing. It's an omelet turning spatula. It's for omelets. Um, you can find this listed in my Amazon shop. Link listed below. All right. Throw that out. Let's get started. And I'm really worried because you never know how these colors are going to turn out, right? You just never know. I am going to torch the bubbles really quick. All right. Before I forget, I'm thinking of running an Etsy sale for any of the remaining pieces I have on my Etsy shop. There's not many. Um, cause a lot of my pieces sell before I can even put them on Etsy, but I will be doing a sale. So keep an eye on that, uh, on my Etsy shop again, listed in the description below colors. I am using today are prism violet by Liquitex basics, iridescent blue green by Pebeo studio acrylics. I'm going to use a touch of 24 karat gold by deco art followed by Turquoise Green by Grumbacher's Academy, and finally, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. Now, I sat and wondered what colors I was gonna pick for that. Now, let me see if this is, yes, I did, it does save it. So I went on Pinterest, guys. Pinterest is like the greatest place to be if you need any ideas for anything. And I literally did a search on um, aqua green color palettes, okay? And there's all kinds of color palettes. And this is the one I found on Pinterest that I really, really liked a lot. So I pretty much tried my best to match up those colors. And then I added 
the, the 24 karat gold. But there were other colors as well. Like, look at that. That's really cool. But I was really worried about like the orange and the yellow. And I'm a chicken, so I didn't want to do that. <laughs> but um, this might be my next idea. What do you think about that? So that might be um, pretty cool with green and magenta. So um, check out Pinterest, okay? That's where I get all my ideas from, guys, when it comes to trying to figure out some color palettes and I'm like, you know, stuck. Check out Pinterest. Okay, so let's, uh, let's bring this in a little bit at least, like so. Okay, and don't forget, I made sure all my canvases were leveled perfectly. You gotta make sure that's level, all right? So let's see here. This time I'm going to think about it. So if I go up like this and I don't even know, like, does it even really matter? It's just going to blow out anyway, right? I don't know. The more you think about it, the more you're going to just, just do it. Just go for it. Just like I did in the last video. I wasn't even thinking and I didn't. I was like, oh, I didn't think about that very well, but it worked out beautifully. All right. So yeah, for those of you who are watching and, um, you know, head on over to Juno's YouTube channel and check out um, my new baby, Echo, my new fur baby. Um, we love them. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. Um, I've been spending my nights on the couch, sleeping by his crate until he gets better and uh, doesn't have to go out at night for potty breaks. But let me tell you, I am one tired mama for sure. Waking up three times a night is uh, not fun, but that is what comes with the territory with a puppy or a baby in general. So we're really happy and him and Juno are getting along very well now. Every day is better. So we're really happy Juno has someone to play with now. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm tangled. <clears throat> I am tangled. All right. It was underneath the foot of my light. Okay, guys. Um, wish me luck here. I'm a little nervous, as always. But uh, think about this carefully, methodically, and just blow slowly and think about it. So let's go. There's my paper towel. <laughs> You know, oh, the gold is really nice. I'm kind of wishing I had added a little bit more, but I was really worried about adding the gold. I really was. Um, because sometimes it just, it takes over way too much. Um, and I don't like it, but there is some seriously nice, subtle um, hints of gold in here. I'm so happy with this. Now remember, when this dries, it's gonna dry darker. So, I, you know, it, it'll be interesting to see how it dries. All right, so I'm gonna torch this petal, this petal for sure, um, and see where we're at. Okay, uh, I'm not touching any of this. Now, let's do some matchy-matchy here because definitely not happening here. You just want to blow softly. You don't want to just blast it with your lungs because you'll just ruin the way um, the paint is. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, I wish I added a little bit more gold in there. I should have added more gold. But when I bring you guys down for a close up and you see the side shimmer like over here, you'll really see the uh, overlay. Okay, I am very happy with this. I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up 
and uh, you guys will let me know what you think. Be right back. All right, guys. So before I show you guys the final piece, let's do another um, vote on the next set of colors. Now, I know I have cerulean blue here again. This was a close second. Um, well, not close, but this was second from everyone who chose between the aqua green and the blue. Cerulean blue came second. So I'll throw that back in the mix. So we have cerulean blue, um, deep magenta, or fluorescent green. Okay, so let me know in the comments below um, which color you want to see next. Um, now, in between these, you know, Dutch pores um, colored backgrounds, I do have to do commission pieces. So if you don't see this in the next video, don't panic, you will see it. So let me know which one you guys want to see next and the one with the most votes I will do next. All right, so let me show you guys the piece now. Now, right here, um, after I stopped recording, I literally dropped one drop of gold here and one drop, one drop. I didn't scrape anything. I didn't touch anything. I just dropped a piece of, well, a piece, a drop of gold paint, and I blew very, very gently um, with my mouth. And just to add a little bit of gold right there because it was lacking a little gold. But this is the rest of the piece, and I'm loving it. And on my camera, what I'm looking at right now, it looks more blue to me than aqua green. So I'm really hoping you guys are seeing aqua green, but it's very hard with cameras. But look at the, uh, there's the gold, that just that shimmer of gold right on top. So when this dries and it gets a coat of crystal resin, it is going to be stunning. So if you are interested in this piece, Feel free to email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. It's a 12 by 12 diptych. All right, look at that. Oh, look, a face. Big fat forehead, teeny tiny nose, and a big, big chin sticking out. Look at that. I always find a face in my paintings. Always. There's another one. Another face. So some hair, um, eye, nose, teeny tiny mouth and maybe an ear. There's another face. It's like a baby face. How cute. Let me know if you guys see anything else in this uh, painting. Let me know in the comments below. So I think that's it for now. Don't forget to check out my Huskies, uh, Juno and Echo. You can uh, just search Juno the Husky or find the link in the description below. Um, and I think that's it, guys. So if you're interested, email me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until the next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.